News. I'm David Byrd. Several more witnesses are scheduled to testify Friday in the second public impeachment hearings concerning U.S. President Donald Trump. AP correspondent Matt Small reports. House lawmakers will hear from Marie Yovanovitch, the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, who was ousted back in May at President Trump's direction. In a closed-door deposition last month, she said there was a concerted campaign against her as Trump and his personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, pushed for probes of political opponents, including former Vice President Joe Biden. Democrats have also scheduled a private deposition with the political counselor at the U.S. Embassy in Kiev, David Holmes. National Security Council official Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman, Trump's European Union Ambassador Gordon Sondland, and Fiona Hill, a former Russia advisor to the White House, are among eight witnesses set to testify next week. Matt Small, Washington. Two students were killed and four others wounded in a school shooting outside Los Angeles, California Thursday. The active shooter situation was first reported Thursday morning at Saugus High School in Santa Clarita, California. The victims, a 16-year-old girl and a 14-year-old boy, died of their injuries at a local hospital. Captain Kent Wegener of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Homicide Bureau said the suspected shooter shot five other students and then turned the gun on himself. He is identified as a 16-year-old male whose birthday is today. The weapon that he used was recovered at the scene. It's a 45 caliber semi-automatic pistol which had no more rounds in it. The suspected shooter is listed in grave condition and is under arrest at a local hospital. This is at least the 85th incident of gunfire on school grounds this year, according to the gun control advocacy group Everytown. For more, visit voanews.com. This is VOA News. Hong Kong pro-democracy protesters paralyzed parts of the city for a fourth day on Thursday, forcing schools to close and blocking highways as students built campus barricades and the government dismissed rumors of a curfew. Reuters' David Doyle has more. While the unrest has now lasted for five months, it has intensified in the past week after police shot and wounded a protester. Parts of Hong Kong have been paralyzed for four straight days with protesters torching vehicles and buildings, hurling petrol bombs at police stations and trains, and dropping debris from bridges onto the traffic below. Police said arrows were fired at officers from Hong Kong Polytechnic University on Thursday morning. Speaking in Brazil on Thursday, China's President Xi Jinping said restoring order and stopping violence is the most urgent task for Hong Kong right now. That's David Doyle of Reuters. Turkey said Thursday that it would deport an American Islamic State detainee who has been stranded at the border for several days after Greece refused him entry. Lucy Fielder reports. The announcement came a day after President Tayyip Erdogan held talks with U.S. President Donald Trump in Washington to tackle mounting differences. Erdogan wants the United States to stop supporting the Kurdish YPG militia in neighboring northern Syria. Turkey also said it was deporting one British fighter and sending seven Germans back to Berlin. Fighters, their wives and a baby. And said IS members from Ireland, France and Denmark will also be sent home. Turkey holds hundreds of Islamic State suspects and their families in jail. It has suffered multiple attacks at the hands of the group and has been calling for countries to take their citizens back. That's Lucy Fielder of Reuters. Republican Governor Matt Bevin conceded to Democratic candidate Andy Beshear on Thursday, putting an end to Kentucky's bitterly fought governor's race. Bevin, an ally of President Donald Trump, who trailed by several thousand votes, acknowledged that a re-canvas will not change the outcome. I truly wish the Attorney General well as the next governor of the state as he assumes these responsibilities. Democrat governor-elect Andy Bashir said it's time to move on to do greater things for the state. The race is now officially over, which means we can look forward and we can move forward. It is time that we come together as a commonwealth. Last week's election results showed Bevin trailing Bashir by more than 5,000 votes out of more than 1.4 million cast. Stocks were largely unchanged on Wall Street, with the Dow losing 0.01%. The S&P added 0.08%. The Nasdaq fell by 0.04%. I'm David Byrd, VOA News.